This video will provide an example of a great way to talk about objective versus subjective. First, take a jar with a bunch of Skittles candy. Be sure you remember the number of Skittles you put in. For example, let's imagine that there are 53 Skittles candies in the jar. Show the jar with the Skittles to your students and then ask them a question. For example, like, do we agree that there is a certain number of Skittles in the jar? Of course, it is not a trick question, so your students will respond yes, there is a number of Skittles in this jar. Then, ask your students to guess the correct number of Skittles. So, when everyone has the number of Skittles in their heads ready, go around and ask everyone to say the number of Skittles. And then, Tell them the correct number. After that, pass the jar around the class and ask everyone to take one. So, when everyone has one candy, ask them another question. Which color of Skittles is the best? Here, your students will probably get an idea that there is a matter of opinion because there is no best color. To conclude, it should be clear for your students that there is only one right answer for the number of Skittles in the jar, and it is objective. And of course, it has nothing to do with their point of view. On the other hand, there is no right answer for the best Skittle, because it is subjective, it is a matter of opinion. People have different tastes and preferences, in a nutshell. Objective versus subjective is fact versus opinion.